All right, guys, welcome. This is M-Dog, and we are, uh, once again, going to start a brand new account in Russian Fishing 4. I decided with all of the changes that were made with the most recent update that brought Amber Lake to the game, it would be a good time to check out what's it like to be a level one player again. And in this first video, we're probably just going to kind of get some things set up and dip our toe in the water. Um, not sure how much we'll do here. Uh, <clears throat> my hope is to just introduce the basics here and play around a little bit. And uh, then we'll see from there where we go. You know, I still have another YouTube series that has my leveling, um, the leveling character I had made probably about a year ago, I think is still somewhere around Quarry Lake. And so there's some possibility that we could go back to that one as well. But I thought in particular it would be interesting to see what is it like in those early levels um, in a free-to-play version uh, experience. So non-premium, no gifts, that kind of thing. And for now, we're going to do this here on YouTube. I may also stream some. I'll try to bring those uh, videos from Twitch over to YouTube so that uh, anything I do on this character is available on YouTube. I won't make any promises, but uh, I will attempt to do that. But let's just start going here in the tutorial. We're going to just learn the very basics here. WSAD, of course, is going to move us around. And um, F does turn on the flashlight. So we're going to kind of just go with what the game is telling us to do. Just seeing what we start off with here. So it's saying to approach the bank and stand on the bridge. And uh, first we want to hit the I key here to open our inventory. It says that in the list that appears, select the float rod, the TL-16. Oh, wait, they also give you a spinning rod. How things have changed. By clicking on the tile with its image, fixed float. And it says a fishing line, float, hook, and bait must be installed. Take the rod in your hands by pressing the pickup button. So we will, everything is already there. It's already installed. We'll keep the 16 hook on there. We've got the one the one float, let's pick it up. Set one meter depth. So it's teaching you immediately that if you go number plus and number minus, uh, we can change the depth and we wanna go all the way up to one meter. And now we're gonna cast. So how you cast in this game when you're float fishing or any kind of fishing actually, is by holding down the left mouse button. The longer you hold it, the more force is applied. Control the casting force by using the pop-up indicator. The cast is done when you release the left mouse button. Consider wind, direction, and speed. So there's a nice cast right towards the middle there. Now, he wants us to teach us that you can Z, hit Z to zoom in. If it sinks, removes the side, set the hook and press and sorry i'm sitting here reading it i think we had a fish on hold the left mouse button okay if it sinks removes the side set the hook and pull all right let's see if we can catch a fish here so yeah you 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 set it by uh obviously holding the left mouse button we'll we'll jerk it um, you can also hit control and do sort of shorter jerks. Um, so we'll see how that comes into play. But let's turn our flashlight on and let's see if we can't catch this fish. This could end up taking a long time. All right, we're going to give it, we're going to really wait till it's good and on there. How low does it need to go is the question. All right, let's try it now. That's pretty low. All right, that's still pulling it out. So maybe that's not low enough. Again, some of these mechanics have slightly changed. And uh, if you are new to this game or if you're thinking about playing this game, one word of, of warning is it does start slow. 
as fun as this game is, in my opinion, it 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 doesn't capture the full degree of fun when you first start out. I mean, I can't even believe how deep that fish is taking it and it's still not letting us catch the fish. All right, let's stay zoomed in and let's see what's happening here. Thankfully, the bites are coming almost immediately, so it seems like they've improved that. So I guess what we're saying here is this is stage one of the bite, and we want to wait till it either gets jerked more violently than that or starts getting pulled aggressively to the sides. I think that's the assumption we're going to work under. So in the past, if it's that low, I think I would have, have just pulled up. Now, I mean, I can't even see it anymore. Wow, we're still pulling it out. It does say if it sinks. So maybe that wasn't enough of a sink. It is sinking so far I couldn't even see the float anymore. It popped all the way back up. I mean, it is gone, gone. I just can't resist. There we go. It's a Chinese sleeper. When it is that far, I just can't imagine not doing it. All right, you've caught a fish and earned some experience. Place the fish into the keep net by click, pl clicking the keep button in the lower part of the window. You can put the rod by pressing the backspace key. All right. So now they want us to go get our spare equipment out of the house which is going to be right over here you press y to get spare float tackle let's see if we can also get spare spinning tackle only once a day can can you get free tackle so you have to choose whether you want spare float or spare spinning all right let's go to mosquito lake all right this is a really cool little crafting area here at the pond all right, so they're already, I wish you could take this lantern. What a gift that would be to get a lantern this early in the game. All right, I think that's all we can do here other than we could keep fishing, but let's go to Mosquito Lake like they want us to. So if you hit escape, click on Cottage Pond, and then you can click on which map you want to go to. It's wanting us to go to Mosquito, so we're going to hit travel. One of the changes they've made in the game since early on, at least, when I first played the game was... Um, you can now go to Mosquito and Winding Rivulet without a travel cost. So that's a nice, a nice change. I'm really excited about this. And one of the reasons why I'm excited is a pretty simple reason. They have these new um, find the fish market and sell your catch. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll tell you what I'm excited about. All right. So you click on the fish and hit sell. So we have just over 50 silver. We have one more task for you. Find the tackle store and buy the bait maggot. Okay, so the tackle store is gonna be over here. All right, let's go ahead and eat, by the way. You hit E at the field kitchen to eat. Once every 24 hours, you can do that for free here at Mosquito. So now we're gonna have to go to baits and find the maggots. And we're just gonna purchase the cheapest amount Okay, open recipes by pressing in. So now it's teaching us how to craft. So let's add the bread and let's make it. There's so much that I want to tell you, but I'm also focused on this uh, tutorial. All right, all of our assignments. If you want to get acquainted with mechanics of spinning rod, go to Winding Rivulet, a tutorial dedicated to this fishing technique. Okay, I think we should do that. Um, a couple of little things here that I think is worth mentioning early on before we go do the spinning technique. Since it's free travel, we'll just go back and forth between, um, between Mosquito and 
winding rivulet. First of all, one of the early questions that people have in the game is what's the best way to make silver early on so you can start buying equipment. And I've definitely talked to people who early on don't realize about the cafe. So here at Mosquito Lake, the cafe is this building here. So if you hit enter and enter into the cafe, you see that there's orders for certain things. Like if I get three Chinese sleepers that have 84 grams or more, I will get 5.89 silver for that. So you want to pay attention to these orders. That's a good way to make money early on. And um, since it's overnight, spinning is not going to be that great. All right, so next quick lesson here. If you hold down U, you can drag your equipment to these hot bars. And then if you press number one or number two, you'll pull up that equipment. Okay, so let's see if this is still set on one meter depth. It is. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the water. We're gonna see if we can't do that Chinese sleeper order while we're waiting for daylight. And let's go to our inventory and set up our second rod. It's gonna be some really junky stuff here. We don't have a leader we can use. Rusty hook. And let's do worm because worm should be pretty good at catching the Chinese sleeper. We'll see if we can go depth of one meter. So even from the very beginning of the game here, we're trying to fish with two rigs, two rods, okay? So not just one at a time, but two, which is certainly one of the more fun aspects of the game, at least to me, is that you can have multiple rods in the water. Right now we're using float. We're about to do the tutorial on spinning. However, um, my favorite type of fishing in the game is feeder fishing. So we will also try to get into that as soon as we can. Before we go to Winding Rivulet, though, I will look in the store. I want to show you one of the things I'm really excited about trying out, testing. Um, okay, that is not a Chinese sleeper. But it is a pretty nice size gibble. We will take that for sure. All right, let's see if either of these get some bites. Let's go ahead and pick up this guy and move him. It's been a while since he's been in the water and he has not gotten any bites. These little bamboo rods are pretty pathetic. You can't cast them very far, so we just kind of want him sitting right here in front of us. Let's get the flashlight on. Let's see if he's starting to get a nibble. I also don't love where this one ended up. If we don't get a nibble soon, we'll move him as well. We haven't purchased a map here, so we can't actually look at the map. That's one of the early things that we'll want to do. All right, let's get this a little bit more in the open here. See if we can't find a sleeper, Chinese sleeper. If you are new to the game and are looking for a home, I would like to invite you to the chat room that I use while I'm streaming. And let me show you again how you get there. If you hit Q on your keyboard, you'll bring up your chat. You can go chat, players, messages. You want to go to chat, click on this little symbol here. And then you can search for my channel by typing in MY space DAWGS in my dogs. There's no password for you to join. Really cool people hanging out in that channel and uh, especially would love to be able to help new players if that is uh, if that fits who you are. Or if you would just like to hang out in a cool community, please feel free to come check it out. I think there's pretty much folks fishing in that channel all day long. Even if I'm not around, there's really cool folks around. In fact, it's probably a cooler place when I'm not there. All right, I'm holding this one because honestly, the line is so short on the bam bamboo rod. We're not even able to pick it up or set it down without messing up the, the uh, float. So we'll hold this one and then we'll switch to the other one only if it looks like there's a legitimate bite on the other one. All right, I think that's worth pulling on. It went completely sideways if you noticed. And that's a nice crucian that we'll take. 
we're going to be setting records here uh, <laughs> off and on early getting the strongest fish fish that fights the hardest you see some of these nibbles do last a while we've had a fish sort of nibbling on that front line for a minute here maybe the sleepers aren't in this spot as much so far we're seeing crucians and gibbles primarily but that chinese sleeper order had a while left on it so we've got plenty of time to still get that all right so we should probably get ready to pull this we got that little sideways thing going and i pulled it too early if you're like me you're going to do that a lot until you get used to float fishing even on my main account in which i'm 34 pushing 35 now i hardly ever float fish it's just not my cup of tea you may love it some people do some people take it really far um, there's a lot of cool things you can do sort of as you level up float fishing into higher levels but it just hasn't ever been as appealing to me as feeder fishing or even spin fishing and we'll get into those types of other other types of fishing here shortly this is a big fish we are into the red here so we're gonna keep pulling and hope for the best that looks like that may be a tinch and at this point yeah I was gonna say if we get this fish in we're probably gonna level this is a pretty nice uh, XP fish as well as a silver fish an 886 gram tench now we do not have a net yet that is something you have to buy and since we don't have a net if we weren't able to lift that fish up we would have had to drag it to a place where we could uh, get it into our grasp so it can get a little dicey you do want to get a net fairly early i want to see if we can get this fish off this one um we cast that to, so shallow that that's why the floats sideways like that because it's not the um the actual bait at the end of it is touching the bottom All right, how far down does it need to go? That's the question. I think that was a fake bite there. We've had some good luck. I will tell you that uh, right off this dock, there is a pretty deep hole, kind of where the end of my end of my fishing pole is pointing. We got faked out again there. Let's go look at the cafe again real quick. Um, I think there's a couple things we need to just go ahead and buy. One is a map at the administration building. It's just not fun to talk about fishing at a place if you can't pull up the map. Um, let's look at the cafe. There's not a tench order right now. So we have one of the two Gibble Carp order uh, fish we need for that order. We have one of the five Crucians. So you can see if you just keep fishing a lot of the species you will catch for orders unfortunately there's not a tench order right now i'm not going to sell the fish yet necessarily but i do want to show you that this one fish is worth 3.78 silver at this level at this point that's a pretty nice fish so we have the map now i can now hit m and show you that there's a five meter hole here and this is a good place to, to fish i mean you could level up at mosquito just by fishing off of this dock we won't do that. We'll explore some other parts of the map. Part of the fun of this game is getting to know the maps. Um, but let me show you one of the things I'm really excited about with some of the changes they've made. They now have, there's two things. I haven't even, I haven't even looked at this one. Look at this, guys. This is so cool. For 49 silver, you get 15 different lures. I really like that they're adding these sort of beginner kits it's all under the kit category okay now we're going to purchase this bait kit soon i'm not going to do the math but i'm almost certain that if you were to buy 30 pieces of each of these individually it would cost more than 11.9 so let's say we're getting more maybe we will do the math worms bloodworm maggot caster bark leaf larva let's look at this 
All right, worms is 1.8 for 30. Um, Bloodworm, 1.8, so that's 3, 6, something like that. 5, 6 silver, that's 6 silver. What else comes in it? Casters and bark larva. Casters, so that's 10, 40, 10, 14, 15, 20. So instead of 15 silver 0.2, we're getting 11.9. You will use all of these baits. They are all great baits. So again, the kit is a, is a boon. It's a, uh, it's a savings. The other thing that I'm excited about is the rod kits. And I want to try these. So let's see, where's the feeder fishing start? This is an amazing deal. Again, I'm not going to do the math. I assume that it's a pretty decent savings. And let's remember how much this cost, 149 because we'll look at winding in a second to see if it's cheaper there, if they have it in stock. I've never used this feeder, the Kama Comfort, so I'm kind of excited about trying it. But this is a legitimately good starting, I mean, to, you know, and 149 silver, it may seem like a lot, but if you do cafe orders, you'll get there before you know it. All right, it's starting to be daytime here. Let's hold on to our fish for now. Let's go to winding and see if we can do this spinning technique. Uh, tutorial. I want to get that done during this this first video. Please be patient with me. I will try to introduce as many different basic concepts of the game as I go. Things have changed a lot lately, so in some ways we're all back to square one. It is possible I will say things in these videos that uh, isn't necessarily the case anymore, or I could be wrong about stuff. So let's start this tutorial. Approach the river to the left of the wooden bridge. Choose a spinning rod and equip a lure rig. Um, click the lure rig. Pick up button. We got it. All right, so... But I, there are so many great people in this community. If I do say something's incorrect, I'm sure people will... Uh, will correct me. Okay, so what you want to do is your mouse, um, your mouse wheel will will change the friction break. The game is suggesting right now we put it on twenty five. So that's what I've done. All right, now we need to select select the um, the retrieval speed. By default, it's on sixteen right now. I'm holding down R and then moving my mouse wheel. I'm going to go down to ten. All right, so it's saying cast towards the fallen tree. I see it down there. And we're going to, you can hold down the left mouse button as long as you want to cast it. Here, I'm going to show you all the way up to 93%. And if you keep holding it, eventually it will go up to 123%, assuming you have enough energy to do so. The other thing you can do is hold down shift and click and you'll automatically do an absolutely maximum cast. All right, start retrieving the line. And you can hold shift to go twice as fast. So because it's a spin Oh, the fit Oh, there we go. Because it's a uh, spinner we're using, there's a perch. Nice. All right, we're going to keep it. This is the last task. Don't stop here. Can... So it's telling you you can learn more by holding F1. It tells you all the controls and stuff, which that is helpful. Um, all right, let's keep fishing here for a second. Let's see if that was like longest cast. Let's see if that was like an unusually high bite rate or if we can catch other fish doing that in this spot. Because that seemed really quick. That perch got on there almost immediately. We're still at 10 retrieval speed. So on these spinner baits, unlike spoons and many other types of lures that are in the game, what we're going to do with these spinner baits is just a straight retrieval. Let's get kind of right over here. Let's really cast it right up against that log over there. C 
See, I kind of feel like it was a guaranteed strike or something because of the tutorial. Not that you can't catch a fish over here, but that just seemed like, wow, it was immediate. All right, let's try it again. Another longest cast. Now, once we get our feeders going, we could do a little spinning here and there while our feeders are in the water, especially when we just have two of them. Once we get our third, we may go straight feeding. We'll see. If people ask me, like, in my opinion, what's the best way to get started, my answer is always spend as much silver as you can stand early on getting some feeder setups, bottom fishing. Because to me, that's just a good way to make silver early on. All right, let's go up to, like, retrieval speed 12, and let's try this again. I'm just determined to catch one more fish here. It's kind of it's kind of bothering me. All right, let's see if we can't do this. We'll speed it up some. We'll stop a little bit. We're going to really entice this fish to bite it. The other thing we could do is try casting it straight across in front of us at that log. Stop. Let's get going again. All right, one more cast, and then I promise we'll get back to our normal scheduled uh, program here. I wanted to make sure we at least got through that tutorial, though. I think that was interesting to hit both tutorials, show a little bit of spin fishing as well as float, and we'll try to get our first feeder set up as soon as we can. All right, there we go. You see that fish hit it? That was nice. Got a little chub. I like it. I like it. Okay. Now, there's a cafe here too, but you can't sell fish from the other place. At You can't fill orders from the other place here. 378. I think that fish was worth more at uh, Mosquito. This perch might be worth more at Mosquito as well. So we're going to hold off. But this is what we want to do real check, real quick. We wanted to check the, the, um, the store for prices. Do they also have kits here? 1190. I think that was the same price as the baits at the other one. Feeder fishing start 149. So that's a standardized price at both of these locations. Um, all right, as far as crafting goes, we can do bread and potatoes. So let's, we want to make bread for a long time, but let's check, uh, let's get at least a couple potatoes. You know what? There's no point. We're not going to use potatoes. At, eh, we'll get one stack of them. It's just one silver, 1.9 silver. I'm curious. Let's see how much bread is here. So for four pieces... It's 41. We need it, so we'll get 10. So it's 41 per. I just want to remember that price to compare it to Mosquito. 41 per. All right, let's go back to Mosquito now. Actually, no, let's check something. Let's see if we have enough. How much silver do we have? 38 silver. Let's see how much we need for our first feeder setup. So for the feeder rod, the cheapest one we can get is 37. I think we will want to do this um, instead of saving up for the kit. We'll want to get a couple of basic ones. So that that's 37 and the cheapest spinning reel is 850. 850. And then we'll need a couple other things, but basically we're close. We just need a little bit of silver. All right, let's see how much that costs. Let's see how if it's the same. Where is it? Feeder rod. 
3780 for the smallest one. 3780. All right, help me remember those prices. Let's go back to Mosquito and do some damage here. It's day it's daytime. Let's go fish and see what we can see what we can catch. All right, so there's two things we want to check. One is the bro the bread. Okay, same price, 41. Okay, very good. And the second thing is the I don't even remember. Oh, the ride. Let's see. Is the, is the feeder ride. I think they've made the prices the exact same in both locations. They have. All right. That's good to know. All right. It wasn't always the case, but again, there used to be travel costs between the two places. So that kind of makes things different. Um, so we are close to being able to get that first feeder set up and that's what we want to do. I think this is the same price right now we would have eight that'd be 46 all right i think we need to do a little bit more here um during the day let's put some bread on and see what happens are we still at the same depth we are one meter depth let's catch some fish on bread right here Might not be deep enough. It's an awkward place to fish with this bamboo rod. It might be reason to go somewhere else. Not fishing off the dock would make this not quite as painful. See how quick the bite rate is on that bread though. We haven't gotten a bite yet, so let's, let's move. We just wanna catch some random fish and try to get lucky on a couple cafe orders. Uh, or even just sell the fish, and then we can get our first feeder, and then we'll be start. Then we'll then we'll be in business. All right, this isn't very far away, so maybe this will be a good little spot. We can put one a little farther than that. I think out near the edge of that log will be one meter. Should be okay. It is. Let's do on our little guy here. Let's go to like 50 centimeters. We're not going to be able to cast it very far out. Yeah, it almost works. There we go. All right, so we've got worm and bread on. Okay, so let's talk about skills. We have two skills to use now. We're not going to use them right now, but these are all of the categories that you can put skills into. I personally like putting skills in spinning reel. It gives you casting distance and accuracy. The thing is, it's usable in all types of fishing. Float fishing, once you're using a bolo rod, that'll have a spinning reel on it. Spin fishing, obviously, use a spinning reel. Bottom fishing, use a spinning reel. I'm not saying that's what I'll put points in first but I do like putting points in it. All right, we're getting a nibble on this one. So there's lots of things, there's a sleeper. Yes, let us just catch some more of those. Get that cafe order. There's lots of things you're leveling up. Some things you level up by actually doing it. Most things you level up by doing it. Your skill points you get per level though. You're gonna get one skill point to spend in all these different categories per level. Once you hit level 20, you'll start getting two points per level, 33 points per level. So you, you start getting points much faster later in the game. For now, you just have to make do with what you get. The other thing that's worth at least introducing the idea of is uh, crafting. So we can craft baits, ground baits, lures, leaders, and food. You can craft more food at camp using different uh, tools that are already there. To do some of these things, you do also have to purchase tools. We jerk the fish right out of his mouth. Uh, the hook right out of his mouth. Um, 
But the reason why I'm bringing this up right now, it's, it's certainly something we'll talk a lot more about as we move forward. But you should always, in my opinion, at early levels, consider using bread as a bait. You should also be making bread pretty frequently to start leveling up your bait craft, okay? Harvesting baits. Right now we're at 0.2%, but the more you do, the more you unlock that you can make. And a lot of these baits are really good baits that you're gonna wanna have unlocked. It'll make your life a lot easier. There's another Chinese sleeper. We're killing the Chinese sleepers right now. You see what hasn't gotten a bite in a very long time. So let's try putting on maggots. I don't know why bread is not working right here. Uh, bread usually works anywhere, but just for fun, let's put on maggots for a minute. Again, we're gonna hold this one just so we don't interrupt it if we do get a bite. And so you do that by going, hitting in brings up your crafting. Click on wet bread. We've got several loaves. We'll make some bread. You can also eat the bread, but for now I would suggest making bread into a bait. Because again, we'll be using that as, uh, as bait a lot. And it's just a cheap way to level up crafting. Bread costs very little. So especially as you move forward, the cost of bread will be, uh, you know, will be very little. So it's a, it's a good way to start leveling that up. Another good piece of advice that I've heard many people give in this game when you're at a low level is just be mindful that the more you can save your silver to make meaningful purchases like getting your first feeder set up or whatever you're going to do, the more that will help propel you to um, more and more advanced um, advanced gear and allow you to do different types of fishing which will let you get more silver and more experience and all that. So you do want to be careful not to waste your sil silver at any point in the game, but especially early on where every little bit counts. How did we already get to be level three? I guess that tench was just killer XP. All right, so maggot caught a crucian. We're getting a lot of crucian here, which is good because I think one of those, at least one of those orders was a crucian order, so. And when I have two float rods like this, ideally the second one wouldn't be a bamboo rod, but um, you know, just, Keep one in your hand and only switch to the other one if it's if a bite is imminent. Um, it's typically what I would do, and I, I don't recommend necessarily floating with more. I mean, fishing with more than two float rods until you get really accustomed to the mechanics and how everything works. All right, we hit a new level here. We got some good experience. I'm actually going to put this in the water. And we're going to run up here. We're now level four. See, level four happened quick, didn't it? Um, but we're going to run up here and check that cafe order. I don't want to keep going too much longer here on this first video, but um, I would like to at least. All right, so we need one more that's more than 84 grams. So we're close on that Chinese sleeper order. I would like to at least get our first feeder set up. And I also want to buy that bait kit pretty early too, so we can have a variety of baits to mess around with in different spots. Um, but once we have a couple of feeders set up and our float and use a, the float rod as our third rig, I guess we will start aggressively set saving. I think for that first pr uh, float kit, and I think that's a really good deal. And I guess in the meantime, we will do the math to make sure it's as good a deal as I think it is. But I'm pretty sure you save some money on that uh, on that kit and I've never used that feeder rod so I'm excited about checking it out so one of the things I want to make sure I do uh, on this playthrough is use some different equipment there's been a lot of new rods and reels that have been added since I left le since I left last leveled an account and there's stuff that I've never used on any of my accounts so it'd be nice to try out some of the new gear as we're going I probably could have let that sink a little a little lower before pulling it. All right, let's pick this one up. I think this bite's about to happen for real. Patience is the key. All right, that's underwater. We're going to pull it. That's a roach. 
your first of many common roaches. Now, as you increase your gear, you may be able to start catching bigger fish. We're going to go ahead and pull this. But, uh, and one way you can try to get bigger fish, I think we've got that order now, is by getting bigger hooks. But you just need to make sure you've got the gear for it. Right now, if I put on a size 8 hook on something, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, um, I'm going to end up catching fish that are going to wreck my gear. So, another sleeper. The sleepers are biting. I like it. Even on the maggots and the worms. I'm sure we've got the right sizes now for the cafe order. This will be a good example of um, one, one little thing you want to make sure you do on cafe orders. Let's go look at this together. Shall we? Cafe order. All right, so we've got this Chinese, Chinese sleeper order. We only need three, we've got five. If you go down here and sort it by weight, your biggest will be either at the front or the back, how many times you click it. Now, if you hold control, see we only need three pieces. You wanna sell the smallest ones because the larger ones will sell for more silver at the fish market. All right, so now we're gonna hit sell. We're gonna get 5.89 silver. That puts us up to 44. Let's see what else, we still need another gibble. We need two more crucians and four more common roach how much silver would we have if we just straight up sold it 12 more silver we'd have enough to get our first feeder we are pretty close at least on that group crucian and we could get lucky on a gibble i guess I'm sitting here staring at chat and not even seeing that I've got a float underwater here. And remember, once a day you can go to Cottage Pond and get fresh bait. I would recommend doing the feeder, the I mean, sorry, the free float setup because that's going to give you the, um, uh, I think, 30 worms every time you do that. And worms are pretty good here at Mosquito. Um, So that's probably the way to go. This is the slower part of the day, right? It's afternoon. The temperature is going to be a little higher right now. You can check on the weather, see the forecast the next few days, rain, clouds, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we are right now about at the hottest part of the day, most likely. Well, I say that it's supposed to be 22 degrees. So, so take that back. It's still going to be a good bit hotter. But once it starts to cool down, the bite rate will pick up a little bit. And then the other thing you can think about is maybe moving, moving your, uh, moving your bait to a little shallower water as it gets hot. Maybe the fish are coming in a little bit more. So those are all things you can look at doing. Let's, um, Let's see exactly how close we are to getting our, our first feeder set up here. So I think we can currently craft ground bait. Yes, we can, but we can't use ground bait other than just throwing it into the water until we get to bottom fishing. Twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent on that. All right, so let's get let's get our first feeder rod. Let me look at the differences here. All right, so these can handle a load capacity up to five kilos. All three of these is the same. What you're getting different here, they all have the same test. In other words, how much weight they can handle on the line to cast to cast at a uh, maximum capacity. The major difference here is the length of the rod and how much it weighs. 
Longer rides can be a little easier to bring fish in, to control fish, but the heavier rides also take a little more energy to use. Quiver tip sensitivity is 1.5. Quiver tips is something new they've added into the game. I think we're gonna go with the middle one, sort of a middle ground here, the FD120. It's 3.8 meters long. All right, so now we have that. How much do we need for our first reel? We need 8.5 silver, or if we wanna get the one that has a little more spool room. So the only difference here is it's a 3000 size. You can fit a little bit more spool on there. It's 9.5. So we probably do wanna do get that. All right, let me see how close we are. All right, we just need two more crucians. We probably do wanna wait wait for these. We've got plenty of time left. We can at least sell that. Let me show you how you sell fish at the fish market. Oh, we've already done that to tutorial. All right, so let's sell the perch and the chub, the other Chinese sleepers. I'm holding control and clicking on fish right now. And we'll keep everything else. That's eight more silver. So now we have enough to purchase the reel. Nine fifty. All right. So let me show you. Um, let's hold down U. This is our feeder rod. We'll put that in the one slot. Our telestick in two, and bamboo in three. Now let's go to our inventory. This is the feeder rod. This is the only quiver tip option. More advanced feeder rods will have uh, quiver tips you can change. We want to put our reel on. All right. So we need some line. We'll need some bells. We need a sinker. We can't use a leader yet, and we'll need a hook. We can use the 14 hook for now. And then we'll need to put bait on. We're gonna probably use worms. All right, so we need line. Let's see how much more money we need. So we're gonna use mono line. The cheapest line we can get is... All right, let's look at our load capacity again. Max drag three kilo. We certainly, a cheap reel like this, we do not want to overload it. So we want three kilo line, like 3.1 we can get away with, it's four silver. Okay, what's the other thing we need? Let's just go back to the rod and see. We can, we need a bide indicator, but we can get by without that. We need a sinker. We need a pearl shaped sinker. All right, let's look at our test. This is where test comes into play. Plenty of range of tests. We at least need 20 grams of weight on there. So let's don't get a, let's don't get a sinker that weighs less than 20 grams. We'll do the 30 gram variety. So we need 1.5 silver. Let's just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna be a much happier person with a feeder rod. Um, is there anything we don't want to sell here? Well, we don't want to sell these because uh, let's sell the gibble. Is that is that going to be enough? Let's sell these two. All right, three point six. Is that enough? Do y'all remember how much silver? My brain. It's been a long day. I can't remember. Sinker. Yeah, thirty gram. There it is. And the other thing we need is a um, bite alarm. And we almost have enough. All right, so when we catch our first couple of fish here, we'll be able to install that. So there's a sinker. We are actually ready to use this. Okay, so I was telling you before that you can really do a lot of, a lot of good fishing just right here in this spot. So we want to do a, let's, let's go from over here. We want to do basically a max cast and try to get it into that hole. I don't know if it went into it or not, but we're going to hope it did. Now we don't have bells on here. So the only way we're going to know that there's a fish on is if we see that tip and or the line moving. Let's switch this back to worms and 
and cast it right here again. And let's see if we can't catch us a fish either on the float or the feeder. I'm not gonna even deal, deal with the bamboo right here at the moment. Actually, I will. I should teach, I should teach good habits. Oh, shoot. Speaking of good habits, let's catch this fish. Yeah, nice perch. All right, do you see any movement there on the, on the, I think I see a little movement. All right, let's put this sucker back in the water. And let's look at the end of this tip. It's going to be hard to tell without bells, but we should be able to see it. You see it's bouncing up and down a little bit. At least I think it is. Yep, now it's really bending a little bit. So with the current mechanics with feeder fishing this is called feeder or bottom fishing you have to wait till the fish is really on there before you pick it up used to as soon as the bell would start ringing or the fish would be on it would really be on all right it is on now let's see what we got this is our first fish on feeder let's get our friction break up a little bit let's see what we caught here our hope is it will catch some white bream in this spot and that is what we got it's not a marker but it is a white bream and that's the hope there is that we will get some nice white bream it's a good source of both silver and experience here at a low level and again like I told you we're just fishing right off this little starter dock all right let's get ready to pick this fellow up almost took the bait there it's not bad you know float fishing is not as bad as I remember it <laughs> it's actually been quite kind of fun to be honest um, it's actually been quite, kind of fun here. All right, do we have any movement going on on the feeder rod? Doesn't look like. So you'll see because that white bream was not a uh, marker, it's not worth anything. None of our fish currently that we have is worth anything. All right, so to be efficient here, we really should be fishing with another another fishing pole. But right now we're catching fish pretty fast on the float, which is nice. Let's check out that perch order. Wasn't there a perch order at the cafe? Anything going on with our feeder? Doesn't look like it. So we need three more perch like that. That would be 11 silver. That would be huge at this point. All right, let's change this to bread and just see if anything's going on on bread. If you do use the bamboo like I am now, it's just kind of, just think of it as every once in a while, maybe you'll get a bite on that that you'll actually be able to land. Won't happen a lot if the other one's pretty active, but let's go ahead and make sure we can set it down to switch here because we're about to get a, there it goes. Yeah, another one. We're going to try to get this perch order if we can. I do need to wrap this video up very soon but oh let's check our feeder actually oh we've got a fish going here well we did have a fish so i think we have a fish on let's see yep so if you hit r oh did the fish get away yep it had one but now it doesn't 
If you hit R, it will show you that red screen saying that um, you can't change the rotation of the um, how fast the real speed. And if that's the case, you'll know that you've got a fish on. Let's see. Do we need to recast this or is it still going to get? Still has bait on. We should be good. The bite rate right now on these perch is pretty good. Let's check that again. Still only two. We may not be able to get it before I have to stop, which is too bad. A sleeper. It's a big sleeper. Still nothing on the feeder. So when I'm looking at the feeder, the, uh, the feeder, I can hit G to look at what's on there. I can hit Y to slowly reel it in. And you do that to get the slack out of the line. If you hit E, you'll actually pick up the rod. Another sleeper. We're getting big here in this spot. And you can also hit K to open and close your bale. It's really cool. You actually see the bale open and close. So let's tighten it back up. See if we see any vibrations happening. Yeah, I think we're getting nibbles. We just don't have the fish on yet. Let's see if anybody's interested in bread real quick. Oh yeah, you can see that line is really moving over there. I want to see it from here and see if I think there's a fish on. No, there's some big nibbles though. And that might be a fish on. You just want to be careful not to get it too soon. There we go. Yeah, there we go. If this is a white bream, it should be a little bit nicer one. We also have floats that are completely underwater right now. It might not be a white bream though. Looks like a perch. Throw it back out there one more time. Tighten it up. And see if this fish is still on there. Ooh, yeah. That was a determined sleeper. already getting a good nibble so you, you can imagine if you had two or even three feeders in this spot you could pull in just fish after fish right now I think that fish is owned now yeah okay much smaller so it's more likely to be a white bream but it may not be big enough to be a marker full cast just trying to get it as deep as we can as there's that hole there I think I got stuck here actually I think we have gotten our character stuck in the water um, let's see I was hoping that picking up the rod might pop me out of it it's not all right so let's fast travel to the cottage pond since it's been a day now, we should be able to get more worms from the from the house there. Yep, we 
we got spare float tackle. All right, let's travel back to Mosquito. And we'll sell all our fish, get our bells, and we're going to wrap this first video up. So during the next video, I hope that we can get our second feeder set up. That's a lot of silver to earn in one video, uh, but we will certainly try. And I also, maybe even before that, so let's double check the orders. I don't think we got, it's like we got partial orders on so much. Um, this is the one that we're closest. We're just not going to hit any of them. Okay, that's fine. Five more silver, we can afford our bills. But one thing I'd like to do is get, uh, always watch these rough orders, by the way. At night, you can catch rough pretty easily, uh, especially on a feeder, if you put worms on there. And, and the rough orders pay a lot, considering how easy it is. All right, let's get our bells. Um, bite alarm. We've got our bell. Now we install that and you should be able to see when we set the rod down that there's now a set of bells on the bottom. Uh, sorry, on the top of the rod. So you see the bells now? When we get a fish, you'll start hearing that. And that's how you know there's a fish on. Okay. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're new to Russian Fishing 4, welcome. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And uh, we'll continue to do this video and, and hopefully introduce a lot more in the game. And like I said, I'd like to be able to um, get into some of the new gear that I've never used before and, and highlight that this time around. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.